Over here at the uh, Upminster show today, and looking at a full recon vehicle, former SAS. Look at the size of the beast on that. Really nice. Uh, I'm just being harassed, so I'm going to have to leave. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, come on, cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Can't <laughs> smile! <laughs> Oh, brilliant picture. <laughs> look at the. If you look at the, the medals on these gentlemen's tunics, you can see that there is some experience there. Thanks, gents. Well, I'm reliably informed that this is a staunch spot plane. So, we cut forward. Yeah, I take it's forward reconnaissance, this thing. Yeah, just like flying over battlefields and putting things in. Ah, there you go. You ain't far from someone that knows what they're doing at one of these shows, I can tell you that now. Or talking about. So, this is a, I'm going to try and re pronounce it again, a staunch. And it's, uh, it's similar to the American Piper. Beautiful. What, what I'm actually doing is like a, a little uh, video of, the, of you, so you can, you can relax and move about a bit if you want. It's a lot better, isn't it? And, uh, Don't let him stand sideways. Yeah, well, I know this uniform here. <laughs> I've spoken to it quite a lot. But this one, no, but it's a beautiful uniform, mate. Br brilliant. The but, uniform's all right, it's the body underneath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I've got, I got a couple of mates like that. They're over there, look. See? I'm going to go forward and ask some questions. Oh, look at these. This is actually as they say in my wheelhouse. <laughs> Look at these, these are beautiful. And there's, uh, there's a little plaque down there. That's a Stuart stationary engine. Stuart Turner Limited. Another Stuart. Beautiful. And this is a big old lister. Well, my friend James will definitely like this. But he's probably been all over it already because I'm going up to see him now. Because he's on his boo. Thank you, gentlemen. I can honestly say this this year I'm not a kid in a sweet shop. Look at this. Beautiful vehicles. Uh, and gasoline trucks. The bulldozer. You know. CVs come to mind when you're looking at this. There's some nice Jeeps down here. Um, as I say, I am definitely like a kid in a sweet shop. I don't know what way to turn at the moment. There's some really nice stuff here. Oh, radio vehicles. I love radio vehicles. Just go and have a look. Um, ladies and gents, is it all right if I have a look in here? Can I use this? You all right? Thank you. I thought this was a comms vehicle, is it? Or, or is it not? The lorry is, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. The lorry itself is just a troop carrier. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'll be a bit untidy because I've just made breakfast. Oh, no, I wouldn't dream of uh, in, intruding, lady. No, it's just, a, I'm a, oh, it's just the outside of the vehicle. I've seen these things. I was around these things. I'm old, see? So, yeah. I'm 60. How old are you? Six, 62. There you go. We're, we're similar then. Yeah. We're both old. Ah no, no, we're not out. No. no, no, we're just well warm. This is no, 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 we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> warm well. Well, that's it. This is a beautiful piece of kit, isn't it? And this engine, look how powerful that is. I don't, know, I don't know much about boats, as I say. I don't really interest myself with water. Don't like it all that much. Um. But I'm quite a home swimming in it, but not um, uh, not for anything else. But look at that, that's well reinforced coming up on things. It's a beautiful piece of kit. And we're gonna try and ask some questions because as I don't know anything about this. What kind of uh, um SPS one? I know it's I knew it was that, but um I just wanted basically wanted to know what the engine was. The, the one one fifty put the four cylinder four stroke. Yeah? Yeah. And is that what the is that what 
that, that is military spec, is it? Well, yeah. Well, it depends. Well, on for them, yeah, well, for it them. Depends on what they're doing. Yeah. So they can they, they swap they swap them out. Because uh, I remember when I was you can, have, you can put a twin mounted on that. When I was 22, I was standing on the front of something similar, a little bit smaller, but something similar. And the guy said to and oh yeah this was it was it had a marine in it and he said to me when i say jump you jump and that's all he said and he rode the wave in he said jump i stepped off and it was sweet as a nut yeah a couple of others just didn't quite do it <laughs> and we had to grab them very quickly but yeah yeah that's um that's beautiful it's yeah it is an awesome bit of kit it's slightly bigger than the one i was in but yeah nice Yeah, that's a good. That's, that's a good. That's a goodly amount, really. Isn't it? For a for, for a group for a group for a covert group, very goodly amount. SBS. More vehicles. The Jeep over there. Really nice. This is really, really good stuff here. This one's even got a name, Maisie. Really nice. There's some good stuff here as well. Insignia, paratroop regiment on the back. Sand filter. Nice. Nice area. Oh, and there's a man carrying my kit. Look at this. Exactly what I wore right on the right date as well, around about 1970. Well, look at that jacket. 90s, 1970s, 75, 76. We do sort of uh, 80s basically. Yeah, you would have, but your jacket's a bit old for that, isn't it? Uh, they changed it. Okay, yeah, you do that. Go on, I'll be there. 1984, the 84 pattern came in. So we're sort of early 80s. Early 80s. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was late 70s. So I was in between the two. His boots are nice and shiny as well, and he's got patties on. Yeah. Oh. Just, uh, just a minute, have a look at that. A Russian tank is going by. Oh, we're kicking up some some smut. Let me go back to um, uh, the rifle, which is the SLR L1A1. Beautiful piece of kit, 7.62. And the reason I know so much about this thing is I carried it everywhere. And it's, I think, they are. Did you know that they are, in America they are making a scaled down version of this? Oh. Yeah, yeah, they are. And it's some. Um, I don't know what it's called, but I have seen it. It was yeah. just a cursory look at it, but yeah, and I think like so that scaled down, beautiful, you know what I mean? And um, uh, I think it's in about 4.85 or something like that. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah, nice piece of kit. Do you know what? I haven't held one of them in a long, long time. Can I hold it? I yeah, won't run yeah, off no of it. I promise. He's near the bar over there. Oh well, there you go. Yeah. Ah, now which one? There's three. That one over there. That he says Russian tanks has gone past. Him. Oh, that's right. He knows that one. Yeah. <laughs> the Bren and tripod. Nice bit of kit. Really nice support on this. Down there, field one. Let's get a look at that one. And a stent. Nice bit of kit.
Nice weapons here. Third, Third. Third. Carpath Carpathian Rifle Division. And you're Polish. That's brilliant. Absolutely. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Really good kit. Thank you very much. I've been going, I've been going around. I was just taking little snippets of different people in different places. You're well dug in there as well, aren't you? It's nice. Yeah, look at this, Cairo and Tobruk. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. It really does. Nice old vehicle over there. And the vehicle over there is a 1941 Humber. Look at that. Very, uh, dare I say, American styling on the back there with a woody sort of thing going on there. But that was, you know, everywhere. But yeah, Humber. And I knew it when I walked up to it, and I still had to ask the man what it was. It's, it's, quite, it's crazy, I know, but um, you've got to get it right, in you? Excuse me. That weapon. It, I know what it is, right? But what's it firing? Because it ain't firing. Like it's just making a lot of noise. Gas and oxygen. Really? Well, for that, that that really like it pretty just ain't got that backbeat. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we try to get one. The, the lads over there making them. Yeah. The young lads fit in that. 30 cal just on the top, just so we can go in the battle and make a bit of noise. I'm doing that. Square feet. They haven't got a crumb on them, have they? Oh, do you know? It's for sale. Do you know what, Mum? My mate, honestly, could tell you, probably by looking at it, the date it was made, and I ain't joking, and he really yeah, is clever. But I'm not a weapon, like, yeah, like, yeah. like, I'm not heavy on them. I couldn't give a... a I not believe how many people come up yesterday and said, is it a church? I knew it went to church. I, I, can, I haven't got a the, for a front for a start, but I, uh, it's I've got a church as well. Yeah. I mean, it's a completely different Do you know what? I, I, I don't know whether people have actually told you this, but your face lights up when you talk about these things. Yeah. You was looking at that and your face just beamed, and I'm the same way with certain things as well. It's a good way of bankrupting yourself. Oh, I bet it is, yeah. It's beautiful right, though. We're going, boys. It's a brain gun carrier. And, it, and I'm reliably informed it's a real one, not a mock-up or anything like that. It's absolutely original. It's beautiful, isn't it? That's lovely. Can I come and have a look, gents? That's oh, all right. Sorry. Oh. only a lightweight <laughs> and there's um, a lot of uh, guys dressed in the uh, airborne gear and a very impressive one's just walking the walls mate with a sergeant stripes up and he's <laughs> his packet of cigarettes in the top of his hat brilliant absolutely brilliant did it take you a long time to put that kit together or did you just go out and buy it all at once uh, it's obviously a collection obviously part of this group here so some yeah. of this is my kit some of it's other people's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look really, really uh, the part, mate. Thank you. Not many do, but you do. That's, that's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to step back a little bit. And, uh, uh, thanks for that, mate.
I'm going to sight and smell. Look at that thing going. That is awesome. Smelly but brilliant. This day is bringing back nothing but memories. I had some hairy experiences driving around in these. I don't drive, I was sitting in the other seat, but uh, when the FFRs you sign them out, and at least you did in my regiment anyway. And you was responsible for it, believe it or not, and the checks. What's the gun? 25 pound field gun. <coughs> 25 pound field gun. There you go. And it's beautiful. What, what circle what? World War II era. Everything's World War II. Everything's World War II. Yeah. Including the stands on the floor, the yeah. infields. Ah. The only thing that would. You've got go a pot launcher there as well. Over the, the only thing that would go back to the First World War as well would be the Lewis, Lewis gun there. Yeah. 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 The, that's a Pier, Pier, Pier yeah. extra, and the other one is a Panzer. Yeah. Panzer yeah. Biggie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Quite lethal, am I? Yeah. It that didn't come out towards the end of the war. Yeah, but well, that Piat was was some um, uh, did its job quite well as well. Time. Too close, though, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> get it underneath the rim of the. <laughs> yeah, you get that and close. I'm giving up. <laughs> like I said, he, he, he used to use them during the war. And he said once you fired engines, you should run like hell because as soon as you fired it, they knew where you were. Yeah, yeah, and big whoosh. Yes. And uh, yeah, some of this stuff you once you fired it, you really had to run. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the, the the amazing ones were the sticky bombs where they used to run up and stick them on the tank yeah. and then run away. Yeah. God, they had yeah. some balls, didn't they? That was very effective if you get under the turret. Oh yeah, they would do the job, they would, yeah. Thanks for that mate, brilliant. Machine gun. And down here there are um, some nice stuff. And the... Uh, Wow, there's a piece of kit over the back there, German first assault rifle, basically, over the back there, and the name of it escapes me at the moment, and the number, but I know it's history. This lady's going to tell you about the machine pistol over there, because I'm... Why they didn't like it was because he said that it was rubbish. But what they did was they lured him to a place where they fired it and once he saw the rate of fire he approved it and he thought but they didn't manufacture many because it was getting near the end of the war. And it's called a MP44. MP44. And that's steel, stainless steel yep. handgun. Yep. Yeah. Mass production. Yep. You know this what they call them? The uh, modern one. Collection of Yeah. yeah. Based on that. Actually, I actually know the information. The lady I was just talking to about that MP42, um, she's, she's 75 years of age and it's her son's collection. And she was saying that um, uh, she encouraged him. So, that's <laughs> strange, isn't it? It wasn't the father, it was the, it was the, um, uh, it was the mother. <laughs> Excellent. Now, I'm getting up to the area where my friend James is, and I know he's here because I can see him over in the corner now. And I'm walking towards him now because he's 
he's um, uh, standing at his centre. That first one is not James. <laughs> oh, mate, he going, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I can see him. He is here. Because <laughs> that's his twin brother. <laughs> right. Oh, mate, how you going? Yeah. Oh, you got some lovely kit here. Oh, I like that. And do you know, in that box, we've got two new handles for that. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. It's um, uh, all this stuff. Oh, as you can see, there is some really nice stuff on here. You must be melting, mate. You seen Bob and do, Gary? No? No. Only a rock rifle there. I had one of them for years. I gave it to Bob. Yeah, yeah, 14. I could have a rook, but, but yeah, you know, basically a rook rifle, isn't it? Whatever way you look at it. But yeah, some nice stuff here. Ooh, look at all these bits. Want to run through them? Go on, run through them, you know why. So you've got the 14 shotgun, yep. poacher's rifle, and the 12 ball shotgun. LDV, obviously, didn't have any weapons, so if you had shotguns, you'd take them with them. Otherwise, the rest of your group would have had a uh, stick with a knife attached. Dinner knife on the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we go to the Swift Training Rifle, which well, I can talk in more detail in a bit about. Yeah. And you've got the P14, yep. the Leonfield number 1 Mark 3, and the Leonfield Mark 4. Yeah. Now that, that P14, that is, is a really interesting weapon, because it's like a transition thing, isn't it, and training thing. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah? Yeah. Beautiful. The P14 and P17 look the same, yeah. but took a different round. The P14 took a 303, which is a standard British round, where the P17 took a 300 round, which was the standard American round. Yeah. So to tell the difference, the P17 has got a red band either around the front here or around the back. Yeah. Yeah. Kick like a donkey. Now back to 303. Yeah. I just, do you know what? I just went up to a guy. And he, I said to him, can I can I hold your rifle? It was an airsoft, no cocking arm or anything yeah. like that. But he still had the basic weight of an SLR. Yeah. Memories come straight back. He just fits straight in your rifle. <laughs> straight, straight in your shoulder. It's un unreal. You take up the stance and you don't even know you're doing it. <laughs> it's wicked. Oh, have you seen down there? He's a really interesting little vignette of, of people that are doing it. There's about six of them. They're Polish. Yeah. Have you seen them? You yeah. met them? They're brilliant, aren't they? Yeah. Got right, says you. I want to throw a grenade at me. <laughs> Sticky bomb for tanks. You'd have had a guard over the front of this. As you slowly walk up to the tank, I mean slowly, we don't worry about what the tank's doing. We pull that casing off, that reveals this piece, which we've been covered in whatever sticky substance they add on them. Um, then, as you slowly walk up, you pull the pin. You then hit it against the tank, and then go slowly walk away. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That slowly becomes yeah. very, very fast as soon as you let go of that handle. I always said slowly because if you fell over by it, you'd have been in blasting range. Sadly, about 30 home gardeners were killed by these in training. Inside this, you have a glass element. If that glass element broke, the chemicals would mix. As soon as you let go of that handle, the whole thing went off. I mean, that would have to be very high explosive to yeah. the tank. Um, in well, the design. And these, you can see the man's legs there, bring it into focus. Look at this. <laughs> and scowl. <coughs> there are some really, really nice, well mm. made. Very detailed, very yeah. accurate. Scale models. Yeah, oh, great. How beautiful. One friend, he's having a chat with me. People here, he said, one of them has been using the thing. Oh. So, this one is. I nice. don't know. This one's, it's, apparently, that one's a new one, just, just been built or come out this year. Oh, it's crazy. Really nice. Excuse me, walking in front of your legs and just uh, getting a little bit of a look at that. First World War tank, awesome. I keep saying that word today and I can't help it, I'm really sorry. Look at that. Even down to, even down to the heads moving. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's just turning backwards and forwards. Oh, look yeah. at that. That's crazy. <laughs> this is really nice. Look at this. <laughs> I love that. The old and a few over the back there. I love the tiger over the back there. That's that's a, a nice tank. And these are these German ones, beautiful. Really, really nice. But this, I love this tank. Different. Been next to a real one. It's really, really like. Well, I say I've been next to a real one. I've been next to a replica of a real one. Yeah, I haven't been down there, you know. I haven't been down there. I always say, say I'll treat myself one day, but I haven't been down there. Okay, mate. Thanks very much. I'm being called, so see you later, but beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, talk about how the other half live, look. <laughs> Tell us something about the circle of this. Uniform. Oh, this is um, roughly about 1944. We portrayed a Suffolk regiment about the time of D-Day. But obviously I haven't got any battle for anything already. So. Nah, but that's... that's it's a yeah, yeah, this is a uh, short sleeve all right today. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Thanks very much, mate. The wonderful thing about the turbulence is they can fly so low and so close to the crowd, which really gives you a great connection to them, takes you back to those days of barnstorming. Just above him, we have the Stearman, ex US Army Air Force, many of them train many pilots in the US. There are plenty of them over here now in private hands. Among them, one is owned by the actor Martin Shaw. I'm sure you remember him from Judge John Dean and various other things. And Martin flies to from East Anglia with great pleasure. Again, it's good to see it in its original US Army All Care training colours. And it's very good to have it here today. So as we know, the Stearman was used as a World War, I, World War II training aircraft and after the war in the 40s, 50s and 60s, these rugged airplanes were used particularly in America for transportation flying, agricultural flying, air shows, aerial photography. In more recent years, these old biplanes really represent the early days of pioneering. But these classic aircraft are still so popular on the air display circuit, you'll see many of them at air shows and museums. Known quite gracefully this afternoon by Richard Dickens. He's been display fine for over 25 years. He flies here from Damon Tool as well as Hickon Aerodrome for Aerobatic Tactics. He's a joint business owner with Tony Richard and they perform wing walking experiences. And When these were new, you could hardly afford them. They were quite expensive. Look at them. I don't know what age this one is, but it is beautiful. However, we have the real thing here today. 
It's got the I believe it's a radiator here, which is, I think it's water cooled. Well, it's, uh, I know they're very expensive, but you don't see many of them, so I don't know a great deal about them. I never, don't know anyone who's ever owned one. I've seen them in books and that. It's beautiful though, absolutely beautiful. The Wolseley police car. Blue light on the top. Yeah. Bell on the front. Being a aircraft, visibility <laughs> quite difficult when on the ground. You may see once land. Jag. Uh, Jaguar police car. High high speed pursuit. Look at that. Lovely Today I've just tried to give you a feel of this show. There's all kinds of stuff over here as you can see the old cannons and all sorts that are here. But it's, um, it's such an eclectic mix of military memorabilia and trucks and vehicles of all shapes and sizes that um, it's hard to show you everything. But I hope I've succeeded in showing you just a little bit of what's going on here today. As you see, it's quite varied. Thank <laughs> you.